was very young when my parents immigrated from Vietnam. My parents had nothing in their pocket, no money, basically no family. My mom took on three jobs, my dad would do um, three jobs as well. One of the jobs that he took on was at a pizza store, and that's how they decided to go into their own business. And that's where we started up our little family shop. One summer, my dad had to go um, on an emergency trip, so it was only my mom and I working, so uh, that involved a lot of standing on your feet and just a lot of weight-bearing. During the weeks that she was working by herself, I've noticed her legs were very swollen. Just as a, a kid, you'd, you'd think that just massaging it would um, help with the swelling and things like that, and so that's what I did. I just, every night when she'd come from work, I'd massage her feet and just, uh, she said it felt better, so. After four years of uh, my undergrad, I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do, so I thought I'd take this opportunity and do some traveling. And the first place I really wanted to go was just to reconnect back with my roots. So just traveling, one of the major um, difference I saw in terms of uh, Vietnam healthcare versus Canada is Canadians, we are very privileged to have uh, free access to healthcare. Everyone is treated equally in terms of the type of care they receive and the degree of service they receive. Being a practitioner, I, I feel everyone deserves the same quality of healthcare as well as um, having free access to healthcare.